I am John Pauline Taligua. I'm a Chad Newton scholar doing a PhD at the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering at the University of Surrey. Um, this PhD research aims to develop novel approaches to be able to strengthen the island socio-ecological resilience of island communities. We also aim to integrate to find the indicators that makes a small island resilient to disasters and to integrate these indicators to be and translate it into a tool that could aid in the disaster risk and recovery planning process of the island. I, I chose Batanes as the case study site because um, as you know it is known as uh, one of the islands in the Philippines that is vulnerable and prone especially to typhoons to natural disasters. They are also known for their um, inherent community resilience so I would like to know how is that possible and if um, amidst the changing climate if they're still resilient to various kinds of natural disasters. And I believe resilience is um, directly related to sustainable development and that, that's why I've I've made sure that I'll be doing participatory approaches in the research. So last year I've conducted community workshops with the six municipalities here in Batanes. The uh, extensiveness of the research of uh, Ms. Joan is really to be considered as uh, a big help for us. We are not setting aside our indigenous knowledge or practices to be left aside. No, we have, it has to be um, working hand in hand with the present technology. Research siguro, sabi ko nga kanina, makakatulong na malaki para madocument at maisa lugar, maging scientific yung approach, madagdagan or uh, maisama sa, ma, sa, sa itinuturo nga uh, pagiging resident, ma, madagdagan yung uh, uh, kaugalian ng practices na may tuturo sa mga kabataan ng sabdang. This research can uh, be used as a tool para maiayos namin yung pagpaplano kung paano yung mga mas nararapat gawin ng uh, uh, local government uh, in spite na napakaliit ng aming pondo na uh, maaring gamitin sa uh, pag-organize or pag-manage ng uh, uh, any disaster na maaaring tumama sa Santa. The agriculture sector has a very uh, uh, important role in, uh, in, this, uh, in the research of Joan because food security uh, actually is a very important part of uh, disaster resilience here in the province. Especially when we experience typhoons, the first consideration is uh, the availability of food supply, especially since uh, we are geographically isolated from the uh, When she tries to define, uh, uh, let's say, comprehensive indicator to define resilience, she not only looks into uh, physical or environmental resilience, looking into social and economic resilience uh, will actually give the comprehensive feeling of the complete resilience. So John's research actually is, is an excellent, excellent example of ODA type of research. Uh, one aspect of this research is actually impact on, on the local economy, uh, impact on uh, and, and local uh, society in, in Batanes, uh, and that can be seen in, in very short term. Uh, if, if we interact with local stakeholders, um, they, they are uh, very excited about uh, what synthesis that is coming out of out of Joan's research. What we want to see happening is uh, that some of these research outcomes will be utilized uh, by, by the uh, institutions, uh, by different municipalities and by also communities uh, in, in terms of actually making decisions, informed preparations which will make them more resilient. The United Kingdom has advanced tools and methodologies which could I believe could help in the research so that was the one of the things that influenced my decision on why study in the UK and the university is known for this field of specialization um, and also the UK is also a group of small islands so I hope to be able to transfer the, the tools and approaches that they use and hope we could use it here in the Philippines as well.